Decomposition of soil carbon is critical to the global carbon cycle and atmospheric CO2 concentrations. Soil carbon content varies between ecosystems due to the balance between plant growth and decomposition rates. Until recently, the colder temperatures of the northern ecosystems produced an environment in which the decomposition of carbon-rich plant litter had been slower than plant growth resulting in large accumulations of soil organic carbon. These northern ecosystems include the tundra and boreal forest biomes, which are part of an arctic region that is warming three times as fast as the globe as a whole, and has already warmed substantially more than the global average. This is predicted to accelerate decomposition rates and increase the release of carbon from soils into the atmosphere as CO2. The loss of carbon from Arctic soils is complicated by changes in the boundary between boreal and tundra biomes. Tundra is the northernmost biome and dominated by perpetually frozen soil, or permafrost, and on top of the permafrost is a thin layer of soil that thaws in the summer, known as the active layer. Tundra is full of small plants, like shrubs, sedges, and mosses, but not trees. Soil organic carbon accumulates in the active layer, but can become buried within and even beneath permafrost over time. The boreal forest is located just south of tundra and is the northernmost forested biome. It also has cold soils, but not all of it has permafrost. The transition from boreal forest to tundra is not always abrupt. For example, there is a gradual transition in the foreground and abrupt transition in the background of this image. Why is this? It was long thought that trees could not survive too far north or too high in elevation where air temperature is too low, but the limit is not solely above ground. Below ground, the active layer is highly variable, and there is not always a sharp boundary from areas of permafrost to those soils thawed enough in the summer to support tree growth with an area of discontinuous permafrost between. With a deeper active layer, there is more soil volume available for deeper root growth, which helps trees establish. Warming tundra soils can cause a shift toward boreal forest, with potential implications for permafrost melting and soil carbon reserves. How would the carbon balance of a tundra ecosystem change if it were overtaken by trees? Does it matter? What does it mean for the global carbon cycle? Because of global warming and increasing soil thaw depths, the Arctic tree line is rapidly advancing into tundra ecosystems that had been too cold for them. Trees hold more carbon than smaller tundra plants, but will the northward expansion of trees and increases in plant growth and plant litter content offset soil carbon release through increased decomposition in warmer soils. Once established, shrubs and trees can help insulate the soil, particularly during the cold winters. They create a natural barrier above ground that slows wind and traps snow, which accumulates and covers the ground with an insulating blanket of snow in winter, protecting the soil from air that is even colder than snow. The warmer soils under deeper snow around shrubs and trees can accelerate permafrost thaw. Warmer and deeper soils help more shrubs and trees establish and grow over time, which then allows them to trap more snow and create better conditions for plant growth, propagating this cycle. To test how snow depth and soil temperature affect trees and decomposition, we are experimentally increasing snow depth around isolated arctic trees growing outside of the tree line. This is done with snow fences that trap blowing snow, as happens with trees. We are measuring how deeper snow changes soil temperature, tree growth, and soil CO2 production from decomposition to understand the causes and consequences of arctic tree line advance. Treeline advance will bring profound changes to the Arctic that will strongly affect all organisms living there, with feedbacks to the entire global climate system via changes in global atmospheric CO2.
Arctic ecosystems currently contain soil carbon pools that store more than twice the amount of carbon as is currently in the atmosphere. It is necessary to understand the carbon dynamics of Arctic and boreal ecosystems to more accurately predict its effects on the rapidly changing global carbon balance.